There is a ritual in Tibetan Buddhism that is called the creation of the sand mandalas. In this ritual, monks will create the most intricate and beautiful designs by hand using colored stones. These designs are composed of millions of individual stones that take days or even weeks to complete. The completion of these elaborate designs is meant to teach them the values of patience, dedication, and consistency. But the most interesting part of this ritual is what happens right after the creation of these designs. Instead of marveling over it, taking a selfie with it to post on Instagram, or sending it over to a museum, the designs are destroyed immediately. Wait, what? The whole point of destroying them right after is to teach them to get rid of emotional attachment, also something known as letting go. This ritual teaches the importance of how everything is temporary and the only thing that matters is our current actions and our current self. The older I get and the deeper that I get into self-improvement, the more I've been reflecting on my own life and just becoming more and more self-aware. I've realized how much in my own life I have let past experiences, past emotions, just past everything dictate how I live my current life. Whether it be something so stupid and small like messing up when I was younger on the basketball team, events of how my coaches reacted or how I felt about myself. Sometimes those situations replay in the back of my mind and when I go and play with my friends, that comes into my mind and affects how I play. And similarly, when I was a kid, I was extremely shy and just honestly had low confidence in myself. And because of that, that sometimes creeps into the back of my mind as I'm filming a YouTube video just like this or I'm about to get ready to record. Or in my early days of college, when I would try to go and approach someone, whether it be a guy or a girl to just start a conversation, I would remember myself in middle school in high school and just messing up and that fear of messing up had stayed in the back of my mind and affected the actions that I was about to take whether or not I was going to approach them in the first place and if I even did I would just be so nervous the entire time because my brain was telling me you're not good at this and even if I would just make past mistakes whether it be just on a test while studying or I just fumble up all of these small little occurrences would literally play in the back of my mind when I would be trying to start a new business when I'd be studying for a new test or anything just moving forward I would constantly criticize every small detail to avoid making mistakes because I knew I had done so in the past. Having so much emotional attachment to these incidences, to these events, to everything, it literally made me overthink every single action that I was going to take. And because of that, that literally affected the way my life played out afterwards. Little did I know in my small journey of self-improvement so far, how much strength and power you give yourself when you can just learn to let go. I do not know what any of you watching have gone through in your own lives and how that has affected you. All I can tell you is that to take each day as a new beginning and a new life without memory of past experiences and how it can affect the future. You need to remove all emotional attachment that you have to any past incidences, any past results, any past relationships, everything you just need to get rid of. Whether it be trauma from a specific event, from abuse, from losing your job to a heartbreak, whatever it is, you need to let go of these things. The more attention and significance you give these things, the more it takes control over your life. And I know all of these past events and the inability to let go has stopped you from living your life to the fullest extent. I think this video is especially important for anyone who's trying to start something new or is in a transitional phase of their life where they don't know what to do, they have low confidence in themselves and they kind of base themselves off of past experiences. It doesn't matter what you do or the cool things that you do on social media or how much money you make, all of those past experiences will continue to haunt you until you start to learn how to get rid of that and fix that now. There's so many millionaires and billionaires and there's even gurus that you watch right now that are so popular that you can literally see, if you take a step back, you can literally see they're still fighting demons on an everyday basis. You wanna be able to get rid of that now so that once you actually reach the place that you wanna be, that you can truly enjoy it in its fullest form. This negative energy and this power over you is literal poison that is existing into your body. I implore you to learn something from the Tibetan monks and the sand mandalas so that you can turn your own life into a beautiful design. I wish you all the utmost success because I know there's plenty enough for all of us. Mwah.